Yo, what is going on guys? It's Foxy here. And uh, for today's video, I decided to do a quad with every gun uh, video, which, you know, it's a thing that people have done for years on COD, so I'm not the first one to do it or anything, but I just, I got bored and I needed something to play for. There's not a lot to do in this game that I enjoy, personally. So I just felt like doing this, since I don't think I've ever actually done this. I mean, at least not gone for it. Maybe I've done it by accident, but I've never actually gone for this kind of video. So yeah, this is a quad with every gun. Um, you'll see that, you know, I don't think that there's, there's a lot of Nuketown, but it's only like half of the clips are on Nuketown. But the only reason for that is because a lot of them were in the same game. So that's the reason that there's, um, like if you see a lot of back-to-back -back Nuketown clips, like at the beginning with the ARs, you're going to see that. It's simply because all these clips were in the same game. Like I would get the quad feed and then I would go, um, into my custom class. And since you can edit mid game in this, uh, in Cold War, I just edited my class and added the, the next gun that I needed. So when you see a lot of back-to-back -back Nuketown, I'd say most of the time, if not once or twice, most of the time it's because it's in the same game. So that's the reason that um, anytime you see back-to-back -back maps, it's probably because they're in the same game. So just be aware of that. Um, I did have to play hardcore for most of this because it would it's just a lot easier to do and it's a lot more enjoyable, at least for me personally. You know, the game has skill based, so it's not that tolerable. And on top of that, the main thing about this game, which makes it hard to get a quad feed of every gun compared to other games, is how fast the feed is in comparison to other CODs. I'm not sure how fast it is in comparison to, like, you know, the old gen CODs, but I know at least, well, definitely Modern Warfare and uh, World War II, it's faster than. It's one of the faster CODs as far as the feed goes, so it's definitely not easy. You have to go way faster. So I think hardcore makes it a lot more tolerable to go for this. You know, this wasn't meant to be anything crazy. This is just something that I did for fun. So I wasn't going to try to challenge myself or anything. I, I just I just wanted something to do. So if I'm going to do it, I might as well enjoy it. And hardcore is the best way for me to do that. So yeah, I did a lot of hardcore. It was pretty fun. I, I did all these clips that you're seeing are brand new that I did specifically for this challenge besides the snipers. For some reason, I just couldn't like get myself to want to play with the snipers and get quad feeds like I was just losing my mind um I think it's because I did a sniper video not too long ago so I'm already all snipered out like I just didn't feel like it so the three sniper clips are from before this video was recorded but the rest of the clips are all like brand new it didn't take me that long to get I don't really remember which clips were on which day but um, I did a lot of them on the same day because again once you get one good lobby you just have to take advantage of that so that's why I get like back-to-back -back clips a lot um, because I would just take advantage of a of a good lobby um, so the only guns that I didn't do are the launchers because fuck that like as I said the game the feed is very fast so it would I don't even know if I could it would be so um, it would be so lucky to actually get a quad feed with any of the launchers, let alone go for it. I would just lose my fucking mind, and I'm not trying to, like, be annoyed while playing. I did The whole point of this is to have fun. So I didn't do the launchers, which I, I feel like a lot of people don't do the launchers whenever they do these kind of videos. Like, you know, because other people have done these kind of videos, so I don't really care. It's not, it's not something that's very fun to use or even fun to see somebody get a quad feed with. And in this game, it would be too difficult to go for. Um, I didn't do the knife because it's not a gun. It's a knife. Um, and the only gun that it's like a legitimate gun that I didn't do was the striker and the reason for that is because I don't have it unlocked and so this is a quad feed with every gun that I have that isn't a launcher so I'm not gonna go out of my way to unlock the striker just for this video like I'm not gonna use shotguns to an extent just to do that I did do the MAC-10 because I already had the MAC-10 at the time of recording this video so um, so yeah hopefully I can upload this video before season 2 I mean, I should be able to, because I'm assuming in Season 2 there's going to be newer guns, so... Um, so yeah, this is every gun that I have, quad feed with every gun. Uh, some of them were better than a quad feed, in the sense of I got a quad feed times 2, or multiple quad feeds, or a 5 on. And then some of them were like barely a quad feed, because they weren't that easy to get, or because... You know how skill-based is, sometimes it's like the lobbies are way better than other days, so... You know, I enjoyed going for this video, just something to do. It's like I'm just trying to think of ideas to upload shit. It's hard though, because I don't like COD. Like, I like making videos in the sense of like, putting a video together, but... 
playing for a video is not that fun anymore because COD is just so fucking awful. I mean, I saw a clip uh, today of somebody dying by the train on... I mean, you're probably going to see this video a week after me recording this, so I don't know how old this is. But it's a clip of somebody tweeting at Vondahar because they died by the train on Express and then they spawned right where the train was and they died again or something similar to that. And, you know, it's not like they were making fun of the developers or anything. They were just calling attention to it like, hey, Vondahar, what is this? And instead of giving a response like, hey, thanks for letting us know, we'll take care of it. He just goes, what is this? Uh, there's dozens of people that care about, you know, that are working on this game. So, like some shitty ass defensive response, like... What do you, wh why are you so defensive about it? He didn't make fun of you. He didn't like trash your game. He's asking what this is, essentially calling attention to your mistake and your response as always is, there's a lot of people working on this. It's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything, Vonahar? Like, I don't know what happened to that guy, but he just became such a fucking prick. Like, and that's just sad because, you know, I feel like in the back of my head, I, I kind of blamed Activision for a lot of the shit going on, like skill base and all that, but it's the developers too. It's Vonahar. It's literally the lead fucking developer and he's just a prick to everybody on Twitter because he's sad that you know somebody will talk about any little thing about the game and his response will be well there's a lot of people working on it it's like okay aren't you embarrassed that there's that many people working on this and you keep fucking up like I don't understand why that's his response or why he's so defensive about it, it it's just it's like it's embarrassing honestly like if I was like one of the head people at COD and I saw like my lead developer saying that to somebody, even though it's a mistake to, for them to spawn somebody in front of the train after they die by the train, so that's a mistake, that's something they should fix, but instead he just riffs on them for no reason. So that, it's just weird man, it's absolutely weird. And then even in the in the reply somebody said something similar to, oh it's a quick scoper so I don't care that they die, and then Vondahar's like yeah they suck. It's like what dude? Like. That's one of the biggest communities in your game and you're trashing on them, like, whether you like getting quickscoped or not, it's a big part of your game is a sniping community and they've brought a lot of attention and he just riffs on them, so. I have no hopes for fucking COD, but I'm still here trying to make videos, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.